Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are visiting us for the very first time, you are very much welcome. Please don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Do what? Smash the subscribe button because we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we are gifting our 10,000 subscribers $100, all right? So just do what you need to do. Share the link, like, and do what you have to do. But today we're going to be with this delicious and amazing snacks called Bajia. I'm going to make it the simplest recipe I've ever seen. Let's get cooking. My ingredients today of making my bajia, I have one cup of gram flour, one cup of gram flour. I have a, ha a half cup of all-purpose flour. I have my one teaspoon of garlic paste. I have uh, finely diced red onion right here. I have some coriander leaves right here. And I have some spring onions right here, finely chopped. I have some food color, you can also use turmeric. I have some salt, I have some baking powder, I have some smashed potatoes right here. I have also one cup of water and I'm cooking oil which we're going to use to fry our bajiyas. So starting off, we're going to combine all our flour together. And we're just going to bring in all the veggies that we have right here. We have onions. Smashed potatoes, my food color, salt to taste. I used one teaspoon, and I have my baking powder. So now we are going to add water bit by bit. So I said it's one cup. until we get a smooth and consistent paste. So there it goes, here is my paste. You can see it is not so thick and it is not too thin. So when your paste is too thick, your bajiyas will be hard. And when it is too smooth again, your bajiyas will have those horn-like features, you understand? So this is supposed, the paste is supposed to be like this, mediumly thick. So my paste has been resting for about 10 minutes now and she's ready for frying and also my oil is ready for frying. Uh, it is heated perfectly, not too much heated, you can see, no bubbles are there. So use, use medium low heat to fry your bajia. So I'm just going to start by scooping. So what you do, you just scoop and you come here just push it to your sufuria like that. You can see it is not bubbling. That is how it's supposed to be. Because when you use so much high heat, it won't cook on the inside perfectly. So just use medium low heat so that they'll cook perfectly to the inside. So that is okay. The spoon, push it down like that. Because they have baking powder, you'll see they'll start to rise themselves. So guys, my bajia are almost ready. They are started being crunchy on the outside. They have cooked under medium low heat so that they can cook, they can cook through and through very well. They are looking very delicious and the aroma in this place is just so, so very nice. So I'm just going to let this fry for the next about five minutes and they'll be ready. We just set them aside and continue with the process. So my bajia are perfectly done and cooked through and through. And now I'm going just to remove them from my cooking oil. You can see how appetizing they look. Oh my, this is so amazing. So I'm just going to place them in my serviette in a separate bowl so that they can drain the excess oil. That is okay. So now I'm going to show you another way of which you can add your bajiyas into your cooking oil. So I'm going just to use my hand. So really you don't have to use the spoon, you can also use your hand. So you can see that. I'm just going to press the, the flour down like that. Like that. 
So I, some people use the piping bag used to decorate the cake. Some people use the bottle. Just use any of the process that you feel is easy for you and it is just going to be awesome. Yum, yum. That is how I made my bajia and they are very tasty. Kid friendly, your kids will love it. Just make sure you try out this recipe because it is very amazing and super easy. Using very simple ingredients. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like our video. You can also share it with your friends and neighbors. And until then, I've been your girl, Chef Jared, signing out right now. See you next time. Bye-bye.